Evolution gives users the flexibility to define user permissions and designate notification functionality to specific areas or locations within your facility. You can do this by creating sites and assigning user roles. Revolution's site feature allows users with authorized credentials to segment and assign things like notifications, endpoints, calendars, triggers, and tags to specific areas or locations within your facility. User Roles allows you to select the permissions of users within a site for configuring, editing, sending, or viewing the system. Revolution comes with a single site called Default. You can change the name of the site and add additional sites to meet your notification needs. To create sites, navigate to the Users, Contacts, and Sites tab, and then click Sites. Next, click on New Site and add the name of your site before clicking Save. Once sites are created, you can associate users to the site from the user page. Simply click Edit for the user you want to associate and decide whether that user should have access to all sites. If not, select the site you want to associate them with. Users who have all sites access can access everything within Revolution, regardless of the site. Users without all sites access will only be able to access the data within the site that they're assigned to. You can assign endpoints to a site by following a similar process. Simply navigate to the endpoints page, select the endpoint that you want to associate to a particular site, and disable the available and all sites option. Next, select the specific site to assign the endpoint to. Once an endpoint has been assigned to a site, only users associated to that site will have access to the endpoint. To add endpoints in bulk to a site, navigate to Configuration, Endpoints, and click the Edit button in the top right corner, and then select Edit Sites. Deselect the Available in All Sites checkbox to choose a site from the drop-down list. Next, select each endpoint you'd like to assign to the site and then click Save. You can also dynamically add endpoints or contacts to a site by creating dynamic site filters. In this example, we'll show you how to create a filter to dynamically assign endpoints. To begin, navigate to Sites, select the particular site and click Edit, Click Dynamically Assign Endpoints checkbox. Next, set your filter criteria using the list of available options in the drop-down menus. In this example, we'll use IP address or manufacturer as our filter criteria. You can associate triggers to a site by navigating to the Activators page and selecting the trigger that you would like to associate to the site. Next, disable the Available in All Sites option and then select a specific site to assign the trigger to. You can do the same with SIP lines, tags, notifications, contacts, and calendars. For more information, refer to the site's topic in your Revolution User Guide or contact Synapse Sales for a demonstration.